How are you now, my people? Welcome back. This is your boy, Giadam Slink, and I have my co-host here. Celebrity local man. Celebrity local man say no David, no news. No David, no news. <laughs> I know we did. Yeah, I got that talk the other day. The guy said that he they commit, or person they commit for him. For him. Or person they call him out. Either of the two, eh, between between now to next two days, something will see happen. In one week, the video name will come out three times. But, 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 this one make one talk about the video. Nah, kind of like something that I really like, though. Me, I don't like you. I don't be anything about uh, controversies. But a little controversy, Deja. You must follow. A little one, Deja. But, Firstly, is the way he explained alphabet. Okay. Now it make me kind of like feel like, you know, me I play this video, me can I let people know, say there are better ways for you to explain something to people so that they will better understand you instead of saying your papa, your mama. My mama, okay. Your papa, your mama, I know be alphabet artist. Of course, you know exactly who I'm talking about. I don't want to mention the name, but look at my, you should like mention the name though, but, but we know the mention the name. Okay. Okay. But uh, let us uh, listen to the video. Let's talk about the good part before going to the controversies part. Afrobeat yeah. is really a term that was... No, not a term. My bad. Let me switch it. It's a genre that Fela started. Fela Kuti. You okay. know Fela? Fela mm -hmm. Kuti, yeah. yeah. My son is a huge fan. Not sure. Yeah. yeah. It's, so it's rare. Fela Kuti was really the one making Afrobeats music. Okay. Afrobeats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... Back then, you know what I'm saying, we had an amazing artist, still amazing, called The Banch. We had Two-Face, we had P-Square, we had uh, Star Plus, we had, the name can go on. Mm -hmm. So, I think when African music was blowing outside Africa, mm -hmm. in the Western world, yeah, which was, I think, one of the first places that... Um, accepted African music outside Africa was, I'll say, the UK. Wow. Before it came to, mm -hmm. you know, America. You know what I'm saying? They tempt, they put the African music under Afrobeats. Mm. You know what I'm Afrobeats is really what Fela started, originated the sound. Uh -huh. There's a certain sound that's Afrobeats that uh -huh. has Fela sound. Uh -huh. But now, if an African musician makes an R&B song, Straight R and B, so, sounding like Caesar, sounding like Summer Walker. What would they categorize it as? You still put it as they that wouldn't put it on the R and B. Mm. If an African rapper, so I'm not, I don't get offended when we've been categorized as Afrobeats mm -hmm. because I mean we need a genre. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know people want to hear Afrobeats. It could be R and B, it could be Afro pop. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I call my music Afro fusion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But okay. I'm not big on, oh, put Afrofusion on my song. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know how long it took. Like, I know, I, even when I was in college, I used to play African music for my friends. They'd be like, what's that? That's how hard. Mm -hmm. Like, that's great. I'm talking before I was even singing. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. So, talk about the garden last night. So, your first time. So, what are you talking about? You do not understand that. Based on say, Fera creates Afrobeat, right? No, other Africa musicians they want to pinch, pinch under the Afrobeat. And Af in Nigeria originate Afrobeat. Tama, you do understand what they talk so That's why they no, <laughs> no, that's why they ask you no. No, Tama! Okay. <laughs> Music don't be your doings at no, all. Who am I calling? <laughs> the things you've seen in my calling, I've never listened. <laughs> But okay, the, make a listener to you. You know, be waiting to talk with that. Ah, uh, to say whether you will really pay attention. You know, okay. I like the way he explained him. He said, uh, Fela and I originate Afrobeat. Yeah. Right? Now, Fela, they sing Afrobeat. Yeah. But because of, they don't know that name, Afrobeat. If normal Nigeria artists, African artists, do pure R and B song, they will put her under Afrobeat. Afrobeat. If you do pure rap song, like uh, they are, they are Idris in a rap. A rap, yeah. But they will still put them under Afrobeat. Afro beat. Say, you, you see, uh, that is why some people no want, maybe they categorize them again, other Afrobeat. Say, in, in, in now, now Afro fusion. Wait till Bonner Boy talk. So, like me now, I see explain that is so fine. Yeah, and yeah. Beautiful. If you explain this one to the Grammy Awards, Eh? 
people made it a vote to the Grammy Award, to the BET Award, and all those other establishments. They're going to understand more better. They're going to understand more better than writing something to say your papa and no be afro be like this. You don't explain. You know talk. You know make uh, something. And again, eh, it's not gonna be the, and honestly, no gonna be the categorize every artist put for Afrobeat. Afrobeat is not superior to Afro uh, pop. Afrobeat is not superior to Afro uh, around. Arambi. You understand? It's not Afrobeat be on its own. It may be Afrobeat, but it gets different branches. Yes, it gets different branches. That Afro does signify Africa. Africa around B. Africa pop. Africa beats. Africa this. You know? Because Africa like Johnny, like Johnny Dre now, they put down the Afro beat too. Like portable, now we are going to put portable. Fuji. Fuji. Africa Fuji. Fuji. You understand? Afro, Afro Fuji. Afro Fuji. All those kind of things. I will get all, many other people. Like, uh, I don't know where, which one is. Charlie Poppy belong. Afro talk. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Poppy. Charlie Poppy now talking. They talk now. So, uh, you know, we get talk raps. It's uh, <laughs> when you know Afro talk. Afro talk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, go back to our Afro beat. There is this guy, Rotimi. Rotimi say few years ago, even before anybody, say now he introduced Afro beat put for America. You know Rotimi? I know Rotimi. Baby, 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 baby. I know Rotimi now. They say now he introduced Afro beat. When that people listen to that. Bread of R and B, Afro beat, all in one, and that's when my the hit records started happening. Mm -hmm. So meeting him then is seeing like, oh, Africa in about eight years is gonna be crazy. Mm -hmm. Because after a while, people was like, what is this noise? Yo, I remember bringing Love Rhythm to the radio station in 2018, and then the, the program director was like, I can't even get on the beat of this. What is this rhythm? I can't. This is not good. They don't even understand. They don't even understand it. And this was before Wiz and all them had. Uh, Wiz had the record with Drake and, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, so I comfortably can say I personally brought Afrobeats to, to America. America. Talk to talk. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. like talk it's talk. a fact, you know talk what I mean? Talk. So like, uh, one, I think it was One Dance with Drake and Wiz, yeah. One Dance, One Dance had just afterwards it come out, and not saying it was because of me, no, yeah. but the timing but the it. sound but the, the, the sound the open people's ears the up to the sound right. the music to all the program directors mm -hmm. with love rhythm and getting them used to you love me like juju all that type of rhythm mm -hmm. and then when <laughs> uh, I don't you know, everybody just want ah. everybody just want correct the glory ah. because to tell you the truth where, where, you, where wrote me come outside now I want to when start with the sing <laughs> Which that man? the bad call make that the bad they make um, music with their if they with, their, with uh with oh, with, Snoop Dogg. with their Snoop Dogg and Peace Square they make music with uh Rick Ross. Rotate me where you if you ever want to talk to me oh. is it bad in my juju? If you if you if you want ask me <laughs> based you. on my own, oh, I know everybody get their own opinion. <laughs> but if you ever ask me, say who really bring this Afri Afro music come out to where? My thing me I would say point two face. Africa Queen. That music, the first music we come up from this land, from Nigeria, from Nigeria, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Or let me say Africa. We be say it stand out. That year. I don't know maybe people don't the own oh, don't the, the one with me, I knew that's why I say everybody get their own opinion. I don't know maybe one or two don't go international or the music don't go far like that. Though. But Africa Queen is the first, from my own side, though, is the first music we go, we go, we come off Africa, go international, we foreign people like fall in love with the music too. So you always say, when you go to me, come, the band of no talk, peace no talk. It is we be even the rapper no talk, based on say them that kind of do kati kati. They do, they do, they do, you be down for drivers, they be the user for music, for uh, movie stars. Move so, uh, the art or abroad. The, they use that for that sound. Oh, they're very good. So, where, who did they burn who did they burn them? When, when I say burn them, who did they burn them for music? They love me like Juju, that kind of sound. Oh, God, what do you mean? No, one thing we say, people, I don't know what you want to be. If I be when Don Jazzy get a record a deal with good music, like mm -hmm. Kenny West, where do you mean? Where do you mean? Where? 
I mean, music. Don't make me fall in love. I mean, don't make me fall. I mean, in music again. What you mean? Yeah, they blow for America. That year, yeah, what you mean? You see, I introduce Afrobeat to US. Yes. I bet we can move past that. Eh? We have uh, a lot of things to come. You just don't talk. Mm. Now let's go back to uh, 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 Davido talking about uh, the. AMG, the AMG uh, concert, when it does make uh, more than like one point something million US dollars. Yeah, but meanwhile, some fans online they say it is lie. We're going to talk about that and also, well, he, let me just play you the video straightforward. Date, like, I made one point three million dollars last night. Does not face my dad. No mm -hmm. matter. Up, on. Yeah. And I think those are one of the values that's, that has helped me. A lot of, there are many billionaires in Nigeria. There are many billionaires, even richer than my father. My dad's a billionaire, yes, but there are billionaires richer than my father. And there are people that have tried to do what I've tried to do. <clears throat> Music, entertainment. It doesn't even have to be entertainment. Whether it's a business you're running. Yeah. But mine has been successful because of the values I have. Yeah, that's amazing. Naturally. Like, most people would look at it like it's a huge advantage. It is, right? But it can also bring its disadvantages, right? And it's really cool. The biggest that, what are you talking yeah. about? The biggest disadvantages I had was when I first dropped music was the first thing was is that as is that as this well I'll tell you this. I got accepted for one reason. Mm -hmm. And the one reason was I'm good. That's right. I'm talented. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I would have ever been accepted if I wasn't good in what I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? When did you start music? For How sure. young were you? Well, it's, it, well, well, when it comes to that being good, eh, eh, for being accepted, eh, that is honestly true. It is good. No matter how you get money, you teach your music, no sweet for you. Nobody will listen to that. Whether you get money. Uh, they feel good. They're good. Eh, but I don't know why they, they always they bring the papa call me interview. Understand mm. always, always, always in major interviews like drop your dad one side. Like you guess, mean David o. But why Forbes Nova really include uh, David O. Papa for for police now for African riches? Maybe the man only them. Did you get some, get some billionaires, so like that man, that man for not make get oil, yeah, oil, yeah, uh, something get one wood. The uh, Awusa man, no, be Awusa man, no, be Awusa man. I think that, old he, he man. Talk. Joey Zaza. Joey Zaza, okay. okay. No, we get, See, we, we get. Let me make this clear in Africa. Eh? Forget Dangote, Tony. Uh, eh, eh, no, eh, no, Melo. Eh, no, 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 Melo. Eh, this guy. Eh, may get Fort Oye. Yeah, yeah, no. No, no, Fort Oye. Fort Oye. Uh, 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 the rest. The, uh, the, the guy may get glue, the guy may get uh, forget them, my brothers. In Africa, Nigeria, there are a lot of hidden billionaires. Yes. Many. Yeah. There are so many. Look, everybody like noise now. There are so many. You understand? Just so you know, there are so many. And again, talking about that, AMG may say make a 1.3 million US dollars. Yeah. Huge money for that AMG show uh, the other oh, day, sure. but according to statistics, you know, make Christian by that person said, So you sold out 100% away festival at State Farm Arena, cheapest ticket was at $53, and you made 593,000 US dollars. You did Capital One at DC, sold out of the 3.31%. Cheapest ticket was $103. You made $884,000. US dollars. MSG wasn't sold out. Cheapest ticket was $65, and you made $1.3 million. US dollars. Call, call the video liar. How is that even possible? According to his statistics, it's not possible. You understand? Okay. You cannot sell out uh, sell out uh, MSG wasn't that sold out and they get the ticket that's sixty five dollar. That is the cheapest. Uh, the cheapest ticket now sixty five dollar. Eh? And you call the commerce side says you made that kind of money. 
Good to be I want that for the two times. Uh, sometimes I pray my dear at the video. My dear will make money with people they make on time. <laughs> because on a very good day, uh, I was in my, uh, minutes. I was in my business. <laughs> you ask me, say, I come over, I make, I tell you. Somebody else, we know, we know. They calculate. They calculate. They calculate the first one, calculate the second one. Come, uh, calculate. Come, uh, tell me, say, the cheapest. Now, the, the guy only calculate the cheapest for me. You know, calculate the VIP ticket. Mm. You know, no, maybe the VIP ticket, maybe not so loud. Mm. You know, calculate. Now, you already calculate the cheapest one. Well, so now, quest, but they don't want their more crap. So the issue they be say now, the prayer yeah. will be say, because I don't see any light with the video go on light. Mm. Okay, I say this thing, see how much I say, I see my profit say. It's a normal thing. Because they ask him, you'll be saying, I ain't come out. They ask him that question. So he ain't talk with him in game as a profit. So now, so much. No, no, no. See, okay, the prayer be saying, make money so that. But make money, make money with somebody just pay calculator for you. Body. Yes. If person don't help you calculate your money, you never make money. You never ama. <laughs> because if you see the guy serious, he <laughs> even give him some. <laughs> Details. Sh don't show, we don't do finish. So <laughs> immediately, the guy, every show we call the video, the guy, the guy, buy with the right hand down. Yes, so, now, but sometimes now you go and person calculate now. Bombardier, uh, you don't believe now. Eh? Bombardier, you don't believe. <laughs> Even though the video now in Bapao, now they look at bottom, now they look at plate. So, that will be. Yeah. Goodbye, guys.